Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, you know Calvary is all about life change. We exist to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. And we want you to experience that eternity-altering experience relationship with Jesus. And, and we want you also to grow in freedom as you follow Jesus. Now, step one, uh, you know, experiencing that life-altering forgiveness and salvation of Jesus, that happens in an instant. If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So when you confess Jesus as Savior, you are instantly forgiven of your sins. You are changed from being dead in your sins to being alive in Christ. You are a new creation. Okay, all that happens instantly. It's what the theologians would say is justification. You've been justified by the blood of Jesus. Now, step two, that growing in freedom as we follow Jesus, that's what the theologians would call sanctification. And it's a long, slow process. It's a journey. It's not going to happen overnight. It happens over time. And, and as we work this process, then we become more like Jesus. So step two is that journey. And in every single day as a follower of Jesus, you've got two choices. I mean, choice number one is you can conform to this world. You can adopt the prevailing viewpoints. You can have hip views. You can be like everyone else. Or you can be transformed by Jesus. And, and they are mutually exclusive. And you're going to lean one way or the other. Now, if you want option two, if you want to be transformed by Jesus, then listen to Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, because the Apostle Paul tells us how to get there. He says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So if you want to be transformed by Jesus instead of being conformed to the image of this world, that means that you've got to renew your mind, which is why we encourage you to read the Bible. It means that you've got to think like Jesus which is why we encourage you to read and study the Bible. It, it means that you've got to hold godly values, which is why we encourage you to read and study and apply Scripture. You see, your mind is going to be transformed by the truth of God, which gets into your life, and then you become this new creation day by day, living in the freedom that Jesus wants you to live in. So just listen to some of the encouragement from the Word of God. The Apostle Paul said, The mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. Jesus said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. It's the first and great commandment. The Apostle Paul said, Set your minds on the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of the Father. And then, of course, the Apostle Peter said, prepare your minds for action. Prepare your mind for action. In other words, to, to serve God, to follow God, and to represent Jesus in this world. So, which mind are you going to have? Are you going to conform to the mindset of the world? Or are you going to adopt the mind of Jesus? If you want to have the mind of Christ, then you have to read and apply God's word. Because then God will change your life. I hope that helps, and I'm praying that God will bless you. Have a great day, Calvary.